Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I don't know what kind of vlog I'm gonna be making, but I just felt like vlogging today. I'm wearing all black. Anyways, it is Tuesday, Tuesday morning, 7.30 a.m. And after school, I am going to meet with other PE teacher and I'm gonna go to her school and we're gonna plan and uh, talk about elementary PE teaching. This to-do list, has been helping me a lot. If you want to grab one of these, like look, it's super basic. It has to do, I don't know if you can see. To do, is it clear? Okay, to do, and then it has the check marks on the side. Super minimal and I like it. So if you want this notepad, this to do, no, to -do list notepad, it is on Amazon and I will link, I'll link an office, office, Amazon storefront link in the description box if you are interested in getting it. It's super cheap and it comes, I'm, I already use a bunch of it. So I'm gonna go to work now and I'll catch you guys after school. <laughs> Hello, it is Tuesday after school and I am drinking my light orange juice. So refreshing, I love to drink this after school. Today was was all right, but I would say 90% was really good. And then the 10% was like, because there's just one specific class that is definitely difficult. But other than that, the rest, the rest went smooth. It was awesome. Wednesday, Thursday, so tomorrow's Wednesday, so half, basically almost halfway through the week. Tomorrow I'm, do, I'm gonna be doing something different and I will show you what I'll be doing for Wednesday, Thursday. All right, so this is what I'll be doing for Wednesday and Thursday. We're gonna start off with the magic tag for warm up. I'm gonna teach them overhand and underhand throw without using the balls, just like, you know, just practicing the technique of overhand and underhand throwing. And then after that, we're gonna, I'm gonna put them into teams and create, or they're gonna practice making a castle with hula hoops. And I'm gonna insert a picture on the side of what I mean by making a castle with a hula hoop. And then I'm just gonna have them like play around with the castle. One student go inside one at a time. How many feet can they fit inside, um, all that stuff. And then after they practice with making castles, then we can play topple the castle. So this is what topple the castle is. I divide students into two or four teams and section them in the gym. Each team has six hula hoops and they have to make their castle. When they're ready, they're gonna build their castle. And then I'm gonna put like soft balls in the middle of the gym. When the music starts, all teams will try to throw the balls and knock down other teams castles if all castles are toppled we're going to start all over all right so i don't know if i mentioned magic tag before but magic tag for well this is for k to two k to two magic tag um basically there are two taggers meaning they're the wizards and the wizards are trap are going to try to tag as many students as they can if students get tagged they turn into a magic wand so they have to ha they have to stand up hands like this, magic wand, and frozen, and then a friend has to come in and go in front of them and say abracadabra, like use their special powers to get them back in the game. So that's magic tag. That's what we're doing for K to two. I don't know if we're gonna do magic tag. I don't know because I, I really want them to practice overhand and underhand throw first. I don't know if we'll have time. We'll see, I might change or delete the magic tag, but we'll see. That's what we're doing for Wednesday and Thursday. Hello, it is third, no, it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday after school and today was a pretty good day. Always a few of them that's, you know, have their days, but overall it was a good day. I'm just feeling really stressed out in Oregon all the teachers have to write student learning growth goals two student learning growth goals one academic one engaging 
and then a professional goal that part is stressing me out stressing out because i know i'm gonna get evaluated soon being observed is just it gets me so nervous like i like the feedback i love like hearing the feedback because there's always room for growth always always like i feel like no matter what even if you've been teaching for 10 20 30 years i feel like there's always room to grow no matter what so i like the feedback it's just like i don't know having admin there watching because you just never know what the class will be like you just never know what's gonna be i mean is the day gonna be good is it gonna be chaotic i don't know so i'm really nervous i checked my mail my school mail and i got some i got some of these from students well i don't know if you can read this but it said it's the student wrote it in pencil so it's hard hard to read it says to mrs molly from the student who wrote me a random letter and another one it's cute but this one is so funny um when i read this one, it was so random i think their fourth grade class was doing something with ela stuff anyways this kid said in my reading group today we learned about segregation this letter said i was riding my bike i did i did 99 laps on the last lap i started or it started pouring i think that's what she meant and then another fourth grader from a different class i don't know if you can see that drew me this like a rainbow with hearts there rainbow with hearts I love it. I love these random things from students. Those things just definitely makes my day. So I wanna quickly show you the two posters that I often review with the kids. First one is for sure the rules. So be safe, be respectful, be responsible. Before we play any collaborating team-like activities or when we need a reminder, this is the sportsmanship poster that i often talk about with the kids and remind them about what it means to be a good sport and i haven't showed this to the kids yet this is dealing with not winning and i showed this before in a previous vlog but if you're new here this is a poster that i'm going to talk about with the kids just some tools and skills of what they can say or do when the game doesn't go their way. If you are interested in some of these posters, I have them in Teachers Pay Teachers. So I have it linked in the description box if you're interested. If you're a student teaching in K-5, you can download this one for free. If you're not student teaching or if you're not teaching K-5, to I have different ones as well. There's one for high school middle school k-5 to pe and just different colors as well so, so this one has like 20 pages because there are different options of colors and different titles of what you can use and this is only two dollars and fifty cents if you have any questions or video ideas you would want me to make that can help other future pe teachers let me know i do have a lot of people ask me questions on my instagram so if you're not following me on instagram you should follow me there i have people email me questions about pe anything related to pe or even college grad school stuff you can email me i email pretty quickly good morning it is thursday friday eve this is my outfit patagonia vest adidas hoodie adidas pants that's the fit so it's crazy hair day and i'm gonna go to school and get some like those pipe cleaners and just put it all around my hair all right i will see you after school <laughs> a lot of motion emotions going on with some of the students and it definitely got me it got me off track so for some reason i thought in my head that they were done at 10 30 but they were actually done at 10 20 so when it was like 10 21 their teacher was waiting there was another class in the door waiting and i was like 
what time is it it was 10 21 i was my head was all over the place and it was my first time not getting the kids in line on time so after that first class it's just like all over the place for me after that class i needed three deep breaths i took three deep breaths for because that yeah that it was a lot and then i had fourth graders fun they earned their free choice so we did parachutes some basketball and scooters that was fun and then fifth graders were amazing they were great after that i had lunch chill relaxed first graders great amazing they're so cute first graders oh my goodness they're just the cutest little thing and then kinders i have to remember that they're kinders because you just gotta like tell them exactly even if you tell them exactly what to do they get confused but it's okay that's typical that's kindergarten you gotta herd them to places whoo so that was fun and third graders third graders they earn their free choice for next week. So I would say like, okay, I'm just thinking of that first class of the day. That literally got me all over the place. I would say the day was, to me, it feels like a long day because of like the, my first class and then some of the kinders, but overall the classes, it went smooth. I feel like that first class definitely sets the tone for the rest of the day for me after that i'm just like i'm so tired like it's not even friday like i wish it was friday but anyways one of my fourth graders they made me drawing like these little things just makes it makes my whole day okay but look at this i'm just covering the name look how cute a little bunny he made this for me cute he drew this and colored this for me these little drawings these little things that kids give me makes my day the fact that they are thinking about me outside of PE is the cutest thing drawing me a bunny giving me a sticker making me a bracelet all the little things like that just makes my day <laughs>